Coach, uh, always getting a win uh, against Kings feels great. 100 points. Uh, you know, you're, Kings just didn't shoot well that first half, and then you guys kind of took over, shot well. Uh, great, great story. I mean, Nick DeMelfi just talking to him about how he feels about being here as a student uh, and an athlete. But, you know, he knows his bread and butter is the student part. Being an athlete's kind of just uh, a part of it. He said, hey, he took a chance to come out here, and, and it's paid off for him. Yeah, I mean, Nick DeMelfi uh, is just a tremendous human being. Uh, great to have in our program, of course. And he's, been, he's had a really good playing career as well. Um, hasn't played as much this year as he has in his past, but he's accepted that and kind of in more of a leadership role behind the scenes. Um, I was just so happy for him tonight to come out there and, and shoot it well and play well. Uh, you know, his family's out here from California to support him, so it's been a, a special couple days for him. But he's what you define as a true student athlete, a true colonel, um, and you know, he, he sets the bar pretty high for the rest of the party. Drake Marshall at times in his career, he just kind of gliding the last two games here at home. Just looks very athletic and, and kind of gliding through the air. Drake's got a lot of mileage on that body and we're trying to, you know, behind the scenes, keep him rested somewhat and healthy uh, and finish this season strong. But Drake's just been a, a great contributor to the program. He's a guy that's gotten better every year. Uh, you know, and a piece of his game has just continued to get better over, you know, four years, actually his fifth year, you know, played a couple games during the COVID year. But, you know, he, he, he's just a great young man. He's going to be successful in what he does. Uh, and he can play well tonight. So bright flashes of what the future has here for the Colonels. You know, Colin Ackerman shows some stuff. Uh, you know, Lucas Lesko, Merrifield, guys like that, that, you know, you know that, the, the, you know, it's not empty here. These guys, they have that brotherhood, that friendship, and you guys want to just keep building and, and you know, try to do some, some brighter things here. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what you hope when you build a program uh, that, you know, seniors, Unfortunately, they move on. We hate when they move on, but you know, they, maybe you've been, you know, mentoring the younger guys. The younger guys are ready to kind of take off and get take it to the next level. And so that's what we're hoping with those younger guys is they've learned from the Drakes and the Knicks and the Breads, and they're ready to, you know, kind of take the mantle and keep going. It's been one of those seasons—a big roller coaster ride. There's some games you guys lose that you're closer, but that's, that's basketball. That's life. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes things don't go your way. Yeah. But uh, right now, there's still one to go. And. You guys want to go out and compete one more time against Delaware Valley and see what happens? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it's definitely been a roller coaster season. We, you know, the, the group's battled a lot of adversity. Every team has. Uh, we've had our injuries and you know different things happen to us. But that, that is life. Um, it's a great learning lesson for guys. And we're hoping we can get a win on uh, Saturday. But we're not going to be an easy place to play Delaware Valley and play in front of style. But, you know, our goal is to get to the playoffs and get plenty of help and get a win the game. Coach, great to catch up. Thanks, John.